an example of like eating on the go um, I got some steam rice from the Chinese spot and this is the seaweed salad that I got from the Asian grocery store so I'm gonna have a little bit of these together cuz <sighs> I ended up running around and needed to eat so yeah if you guys are ever out I feel like the Chinese spot Thai food kind of any Asian restaurant is going to be kind of like a good uh, place to get something quick to eat just making sure that they don't have any like fish sauce or anything added into it but this right here I'm about to kill it So I wanted to kind of test out my little new fancy mic. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be using this for something beautiful this summer that I'm going to be talking about. Um, but I want to show you guys what I got from the grocery store, uh, the Asian grocery store today. So I decided to get uh, some oyster mushrooms. I honestly don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. I would love to like do a little uh, air fry type of vibe, but we'll see, I kind of, I'm gonna kind of experiment. Um, I also got some long squash. It's basically like a cucumber, um, but I actually like to have it cooked with my oatmeal. It adds kind of that bulk, uh, and I don't really taste it, um, but it's really, really, really good. I also got a handful of mangoes. Now, I'm not gonna lie, the Asian grocery store can be a little bit costly, um, but I got about four of them, and they were like almost $2 for one, which is, you know, it's fine. I, I, I'm of the belief that like we should eat well. We should, you know, give our bodies the best, absolute best thing. Um, oh, okay, so I got whew, whole wheat cabbage buns. These have no added sugar, which I was so surprised about. No added sugar. The sodium is actually pretty low. Um, one of the buns is about 157 calories. This is something that I'll probably have like, you know, as a little, not really a cheap meal, but because it's not really, it, it fits into the starch solution. Um, it does have a little bit of oil, but even that is very, very low. So when I make these, I'm actually going to make a YouTube video for it. Um, I also got some lotus root slices. Uh, my, I, I always mention my, na my neighbor, Connie. Um, she makes me these really good kind of side dishes. That's like, I guess, kind of a staple for um, Koreans in that like you have these different sides, like roots, um, pickled, radish, all of that. So she told me how to make it and I'm gonna go ahead and make that uh, this week. Um, I also got some pickled uh, radish. I put it in a jar already, but I got these kind of pre-made. I like to have these with like some rice, um, like a side of vegetables, and then kind of put these on top. They're kind of, they, they have a little bit of sweetness to them, but that's totally fine to me. Okay, I also got some millet. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, I actually saw this in the Start Solution book many years ago like eight years ago when I started, but I never actually found them. So when I went, I was like, oh, okay, they have them here. So I'm gonna see if I can maybe experiment with like a dessert or something with that. Um, what else did I get? Oh, I got some Thai basil. 
Um, as some of you guys may know, I'm a huge uh, Asian food fan. So I love Thai food, Korean food, Filipino food, my absolute favorite. Um, and I had some Thai uh, bay leaves one day, or Thai basil. And I actually grew this last summer in my garden. Um, so I'm going to wash these, uh, cut them up, and kind of freeze probably like basically the whole bag until I'm ready to use it. So that can hopefully last me, I would say this amount should probably last me like at least the next six months or so. Um, I also got some taro. I was introduced to taro when I was living in Atlanta like five years ago. Um, at the, it was a Mexican grocery store and they would have this kind of pre-prepped for their food, like their, their soup. Um, and this is so good. It's, it's kind of like a, think about like a, the texture of like a sweet potato, but it isn't super, super sweet. I'm actually going to probably make some fries. Um, I'll also, I will also film when I'm doing this. Um, this, okay, this is the last thing that I got. And this is like my, I don't know, I'm most excited about this. It is 12 grain mixed rice. So this has brown rice, brown sweet rice, barley, green peas, black rice, black beans, corn, oats, all of that. What I'm going to do to make this kind of stretch a little bit more is I'm going to add um, some more brown rice. I'm going to put this in kind of like a jar and add more rice, like brown rice, just to give it more bulk so I can kind of have all that goodness mixed in. So I'm really, really super excited about that. I'm going to, like I said, I'll film most likely when I am doing that. Um, but yeah, so this is my quick little Asian grocery store run. Um, I'm going to be moving in a little bit, but I know that there's going to be, you know, more different places for me to try and do different things with. So yes, that is all for me for today, guys. Send you guys an abundance of love, support, positivity, all of that good stuff. Until next time, bye.